नया हर वीडियोस वेल के बारे में चैनल डी टॉपिक इज फ्लेवेटस एंड थ्रोम्बोफ्लेवेटस एंड डीप वेन थ्रोम्बोसिस यू नो इन डी प्रीवियस वीडियोस एक्सप्लेन्ड अबाउट डी कॉजेस रिस्क फैक्टर्स साइंस एंड सिम्टम डायग्नोसिस एंड डी ट्रीटमेंट ऑप्शंस यू नो बट टुडे clot formation and uh, which can uh, progress to the uh, deep vein thrombosis, you know, or the pulmonary embolism, you know. Now, when pronounced uh, deep vein uh, thromboflabitus has a seriously damaged the leg vein, you know, it can lead to the post uh, like uh, phlebitic syndrome, you know. And the post phlebitic syndrome is uh, characterized by the chronic swelling of the involved leg and can be associated with the leg pain and discoloration and the ulcers, you know. Now, the simple measures can be taken to prevent uh, uh, flabitus, like uh, sometimes it cannot be avoided, you know. But the preventive measures uh, may include like uh, early mobilization after surgery, you know, and leg exercises during the long car, naval or the AP android, you know, and uh, uh, good nursing hygiene and prompt removal of the intravenous catheters and uh, uh, stop smoking, you know, smoking cessation. So these are the uh, measures that you can take to prevent this condition uh, before it develops, you know. And uh, the compression stockings are required in many patients uh, after an uh, episode of uh, phlebitis, you know, especially in case of uh, a deep venous uh, phlebitis, you know. And uh, these and uh, the other measures reduce the post uh, phlebitic swelling and the risk of uh, recurrence, you know. And uh, in most hospital patients who have limited uh, mobility or have had the recent orthopedic surgery, you know, a low dose of blood thinners is required. You know. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. Keep watching. Goodbye.